Green Sheets by Peter Millett and Sean Yell. Once upon a sty, three little pigs lived in a pokey little pin in Pokeno. They were tired of being crammed in together. So one day, the perky porkers decided it was time to move out and build sheets of their own. The first little pig, who was a bit of a dab hand with his trotters, started building a sheet made out of straw. A bit of twine here and a bit of number eight wire there. That should do the trick nicely, he chatted to himself. Before sunset, the first little pig had knocked up a dinky little sheet. There, in his DIY paradise, he hammered and tinkered away to his heart's content. The following day, there was a loud knock on the door of his shed. Outside lived a big Bad sheepdog. Little pig, little pig, let me come in, growled the big bad sheepdog. Get off the grass, mate, you're not coming in, cried the first little pig. The big bad sheepdog bared his terrifying fangs. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your shed in. So the big bad sheepdog huffed and puffed and blew as hard as he could. The shed split his part at the seam. Wasn't 
afraid of a bit of a hard yakka, decided to build a cottage out of the strongest materials he could find. Using premium grade bricks and extra chuck tiles, he constructed a choice looking three bedroom cottage. There, in his very own quarter acre paradise, the third little pig played cricket on the front lawn and invited, and invited his friends around for barbies whenever the footy was on. One sunny labour weekend, there was a loud knock on the door of his cottage. Little pig, little pig, let me come in bellowed the big, bad sheepdog. Take your height, big ears. You're not coming in, cried the big, but cried the third little pig. The big, bad sheepdog's eyes burned like bonfires. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your cottage in. Then a pig's eye you will snorted the third little pig. So, the big bad sheepdog huffed and puffed and blew as hard as he could. But the third little pig's house was too strong and it didn't budge an inch. The big bad sheepdog drew in another deep breath and blew even harder than before. He puffed and he huffed and he huffed and he puffed until finally he had huffed so much that he had to pull out his puffer. Crikey! he gasped, collapsing. In a then, with a devious grin on his dial, the big bad sheepdog snatched some bungee cords and hauled himself up on the roof. Hmm, I fancy piping hot pork chops for dinner, he howled, popping his snout down the chimney pot. Here I come! With that, the big bad sheepdog plunged down the chimney. The third little pig, grinning from ear to ear, quickly rushed his blazing hot barbie into the fireplace. Not if you value the hairs on your chinny chin chin, you won't. He squealed. Then, yow! The big bad sheepdog crash landed on top of the third little pig's barbie and was cooked on the spot. And that was the end of the big bad sheepdog. The third little pig feeling rather chuffed with himself, gathered his two best mates around the barbie while the footy was on. Okay, everyone, he giggled. Who feels like a hot dog for dinner, for dinner tonight? And that is the end of Pigs in Sheep.